Hey, what's going on guys? Hope all is well. Today we're talking about buying rental properties and how to build a rental portfolio with little or none of your own money with the cash out refinancing process, using the cash out refinance to pull money out as a non-taxable event. I'll talk about that as we go through this and also how to control the property for cash for the day, time and money freedom today, but also build equity over time as it pays down. Remember, this is an example on how to do this with little or no money. Now, even if you're seasoned in the business, this is good to understand because a lot of you guys are not doing this. And if you're brand new in the business, this can actually absolutely change your life if you're trying to get into real estate investing. Now, right here on the board, that'd be you in the middle, you're the investor, but you have little or no money. So how are you gonna start building your rental portfolio? So don't make an excuse, guys, and say, I don't have any money. You don't need money to do this business. You need to know people like this guy, a lender, who has money. So the lender wants to make money on their money, which is why they'll lend you the money, but you want to make money off the asset and you guys are going to work together in a partnership if you think of it that way. So this is a property that you're going to be buying. They're going to sell it to you, the seller, for $45,000. It does not matter how you found it, door knocking, cold calling, direct mail, whatever you did to get to this referral. There's all sorts of strategies we talked about on this channel. Go watch the other videos, but you're going to be able to buy the property for $45,000. Now, down here, you can see that there's $15,000 in total all-in cost to this project. Front end closing costs, back end closing costs, carrying costs, loan fees, rehab costs for small rehab. It doesn't matter. We're lumping it all in, just saying for this example, uh, it's gonna be $15,000. <clears> so over here, you can see the 45,000 plus 15,000 equal all-in cost to do this project of $60,000. But once you put a small rehab into the property with the already built-in equity when you bought it, this house, ARV, is $100,000. That stands for after repair value. This would be the market value of the house when you go to the bank and it gets appraised, they're gonna say it's worth $100,000. Now, to buy the property on the front side, you need to use a lender. HML stands for private money lender, or hard money lender, PML stands for private money lender, and credit line stands for, well, credit line, right? These are gonna be interest only types of lending, meaning if you borrow 60,000, it doesn't matter if you pay it off tomorrow, a month from now, a year from now, five years from now, infinity from now, you will always owe the $60,000 back. That principal balance never pays down. Now, what you're gonna do to make sure that you can create wealth and pay down and build equity over time is when you do a cash out refinance, you're going to be financing into a different type of loan, an amortizing loan, so when you guys get your mortgage or you guys know what a mortgage is, it's got a P&I payment, principal and interest. So you're still paying interest, but the principal is going down over time. So on a 30 year loan, it pays off over 30 years. 15 year loan, pays off over 15 years. Now, most banks will do at least an 80% LTV. That stands for loan to value. So if the value of the property is appraised at 100,000, they will give you $80,000 or an $80,000 loan off the value of the property. So you're gonna do a cash out refinance. So you're gonna get a new loan of $80,000 paid to the bank, over the next 30 years, I guess, is what most people do at four and a quarter percent or however it works. But you're gonna be able to pull $80,000 cash out. Then you're gonna have a new loan on the property, but you still owe this lender $60,000. So you're going to have to take out of this $80,000, $60,000 to pay off this lender who has a lien on the property, right? Or you have to replace your credit line. <clears throat> so property's worth 100,000. You now have a new $80,000 loan on the property you were able to pull out $80,000 cash, but you had to pay off $60,000 to this lender. So you now have $20,000 left over in your hand, actual cash in your hand. Now think about what this is. This is fuel to run your business. You can use this for marketing to get more deals, leverage it in to leave money in the deal, because sometimes you don't pull out all your money. Sometimes you leave a little bit on top end, which is still a good deal if the numbers work. But this $20,000, is a non-taxable event as far as income tax goes. A lot of people don't know that. So you will not have to pay income tax on this $20,000. So now you can take this $20,000 as far as equity in the house and create cash in the hand, still control the property, have it leveraged at 80 cents on the dollar, meaning you have a 20% protection leverage position, still cash flowing, and it's amortizing down as a tenant buys your house for you. This is how wealth is created with your mind and being able to think outside yourself and be a little bit creative. So this is why it's important to get educated, guys, that you're, <laughs> I can't even talk right now, that you're watching these videos that I'm creating for you so that you can have a catalyst so you can say, okay, I kind of get how it's done. I'm gonna go out there and start putting the pieces together. But you guys can do this. Any one of you can do this, and then you can rinse and repeat this process 
and just keep cycling in and out, cycling in and out. Before you know it, you have a portfolio built that the cash flow coming in monthly has set you financially free. And over time, the equity paying down and hopefully the equity building up as appreciation happens creates the wealth that you can retire off. So guys, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, guys, if you learned something. Like and share the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.